So I recently made a trip out to Campbellsville, Kentucky, a small, 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 small town a few hours away from Louisville, Kentucky. Or as the locals call it, Louisville. Important note, this town is so small they don't even have a target. Anyway, my baby sister is getting married and of course I'm going to go to that, so that is what brought me to Louisville. So I'm prepping for the worst in terms of weather. Before I leave, my sister tells me, oh, it's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be like a high of 55, about 12 degrees Celsius, and it's gonna be okay. So I'm thinking, well, all right, all right, it's not gonna be that bad. 55, it gets to be 55 in LA, I can do this. And basically the night I arrive, the forecast changes and they're like, hey, it's gonna snow two feet. Mind you, I've literally never seen that much snow in my entire life. I mean, I've seen maybe like this much snow on the ground growing up in Georgia and it would stick sometimes, but I've never seen like two feet of snow ever. And this is just, I, I don't like cold weather. I don't do well with the cold. So this is just like worst case scenario for me. Don't panic, don't panic. So sure enough, I wake up Thursday morning and it is a white winter wonderland out there that I love to look at, but do not want to go outside in. But my sister says, in or just in case we get snowed in or things get crazier outside, we should head to her fiance's parents' house because they have a lot of blankets, food. I mean, we're like preparing for a real blizzard just in case. Something I've never done in my life. So we're driving to my sister's fiance's parents' house and we come across two snow plows in the middle of the road, clearing the road. Great, awesome, snow-free roads. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, this is what a snow plow looks like. So we pull up to where they are and kind of wait for them to get out of the road and as we're sitting there waiting, bam, bam, the snow plow turns around and whacks the car that we're in. It doesn't really sound that bad. It was pretty bad. And the guy driving the snowplow was trying to blame it on my future brother-in-law and I was just like not having it. So I get out from the car and I start like talking to him. And mind you, I got laryngitis that morning so my voice kind of sounded like a mouse and it hurt to speak so I was like, this was not our fault. We were sitting still and you should have looked and not turned around and whacked our car with your vehicle before you even did anything like looking into it. And the guy was kind of just looking at me like, lady, you need to go sit back in the car. Anyways, the police showed up, worked it all out, everyone's safe. My sister got married, it was magical, romantic, and beautiful, and everyone turned out happy, except for the car. The car. The car got screwed. It lost the fight with the snowplow, for sure. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my story about getting hit by a snowplow in Kentucky. Give this video a thumbs up if you do, because it helps the video and helps me. Be sure to follow me on Snapchat, it's your favorite cat. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Terrific. And I will see you guys here soon with an all new video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.